Okay, everybody, this is Dandy Pasquale, AtlasGlobalNetwork.com. This is a quick video on how to use your website's email address um, and link it with Gmail. It's just the easiest way to do it. Um, and I'm going to use one that we just created here, um, just getting work, just getting started on the website. Uh, this is for Gellner Engineering. It's a phenomenal uh, boat engine building company um, and other engines. Absolutely phenomenal, good friend of mine. Um, but he wants an email at gellnerracingengines.com. He wants dean at gellnerracingengines.com. So I actually went in to the hosting company and actually created that email for him. Now, to make it easy, you're gonna if you don't ever already have a Gmail, go ahead and create one. Um, dean does. But I'm going to show you how we can actually link this so it's easier. And I'm just going to use one of my other email addresses here. I'm not going to use Dean's. Um, let's see here. All right, I'll use dan at atlasceptrack.com. Okay, very, very easy. You're going to click over here on this settings cog. Go down and hit settings. And then right here, you're going to click on accounts. And you're going to go down here, add another email address you own. You're going to click that. The name is the name that the emails are actually going to appear from. Okay, so when I email somebody, it's going to say Dan DePasquale. So I'm going to put Dan at atlaseptrack.com. Leave that. Treat as an alias. That's fine. Specify a different reply to address. Don't worry about any of that. Click next step. When you send mail as Dan at Atlas EP Track, um, it can be sent through Gmail or through atlaseptrack.com SMTP servers. Just leave it, send through Gmail. That's the easiest thing to do. Hit next step. Now, before you can send mail as dan at atlaseptrack.com, we need to verify you own this email address. To perform this, please click send verification, and they're going to send an email to that email address. Uh, and I haven't logged into that email address in a long time. Hopefully, I can remember the password. So we're going to hit send verification, and it's going to ask you for that code. So you actually want to... You're going to have to log into the email. This is where you might need my assistance when you're setting this up. Let's see. We're going to access webmail. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Gmail confirmation. That is our code. We're going to copy that and put it in the verification there and hit verify and there you go okay now you can make it your default if you just want to create a gmail account specifically just to use your email address you would click make default okay now i'm not going to do that because this is my other email address but you can, and then when you log into Gmail with your normal Gmail login and password, any emails you send are going to come from that email that you've put in here. So let me show you what this looks like. All those settings are going to be saved. Now, when I hit compose to write a new email, okay, you're going to see right here, this is the new look Gmail sending feature, okay? Um, right here where it says from, now you're going to notice this little drop down arrow. If I click that, I can select that account. Okay, so if you don't want the email from us to be the um, to be the default, you just have to select where you want it to come from. So I'm actually going to send an email to myself here to that Atlas Global Network at Gmail. Test. Now you'll notice also there's no signature down here. I'm going to show you real quick how to set that up. Okay, so I just sent that. Bam, there it is. Okay, so we know it's functional. Now, if you're going to use your mobile device, whatever it is, whatever the mail settings, you just use the normal Gmail settings. Okay, and all those emails are going to come through there. Um, now, if you want to check out your, uh, I'm sorry, that keeps popping up, your signature. One of the things that I always do, especially if you use a computer a lot, is uh, I make sure that the conversation view is off. If not, it'll drive you crazy. Just switch that to off. But we're going to go down to signatures. 
and you'll see here you can select whatever email account you want so if I want to create a signature for that sincerely Dan and then all my contact info okay and then you're just going to down here now I actually usually have um, the signature on my replies as well if you want them there that's fine just click that button I'm gonna go down and hit save changes okay now anytime you write an email you'll notice my default is set to Atlas Global Network not the other one that I put in so I'm gonna click that arrow go down and boom there's my signature okay and like I said if you do want to create a Gmail just specifically for your account um, all you would do is create, you know, ABC123 at Gmail or something that really doesn't matter. Um, and then under accounts here, when you input that new account, just click make default. And then anytime you hit compose, you know that it's going to come from that email that you want. So that is how you do it. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email me, atlasglobalnetwork at gmail.com. Visit us at atlasglobalnetwork.com. Uh, that's it. I will talk to you guys soon.